Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and really excited for this video today. Huawei has announced the brand new P30 and P30 Pro with some crazy camera improvements. I'm really excited to test out these phones. Now I do have both of them in front of me, the P30 and P30 Pro. Right now we're gonna unbox the P30 Pro. And yes, I will be doing a lot more coverage on both these phones, so be sure you click that subscribe button down below. I will be doing a comparison video of these two very soon as well. Now I'd like to quickly open the box of the P30 Pro, show you what's inside, give some first impressions of the device, but also test out the 50 times zoom that comes with this phone outside of my hotel window right now. I can actually see just the top part of the Eiffel Tower. So I wanna go ahead and zoom in 50 times with this phone and see how that image turns out. So let's go ahead and get started with the P30 Pro's unboxing. So here is the Huawei P30 Pro. It's just like a quad camera down at the bottom. I also wanna make note that this is the breathing crystal color, which I actually think is my favorite one out of all the new colors. There's a ton of them to choose from. Eight gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of internal storage. Opening up the box, you're greeted with the phone right away. And it looks like it does have an icon for that fingerprint scanner, which is in display. It's actually the second gen in display fingerprint scanner, so it should be 30% faster than the Mate 20 Pros, I believe. Anyways, I'm gonna set this to the side for now, get, get a little hint at that coloring, and we're gonna look real quick at what else is in the box before we get to the phone. Now, right away, SIM ejection tool. I will be putting my SIM in this phone, actually. Very nice of Huawei that they include just a simple case. Uh, so it does come standard with the case included. Happy they do that. Now, of course, you do have your uh, supercharge adapter, which is USB-A input. And then of course your cable that goes with it, which is USB-A to USB type C. And then also included are some headphones. And these headphones are USB type C because of course there is no headphone jack on the Pro model. There is on the P30, but not the Pro model. So here's a look at the headphones that are included with the P30 Pro. Now that we have everything unboxed, let's take a look at what you came here to see, and that is the actual P30 Pro. It does have some packaging on it. We can actually just go ahead, toss that over to the side. I'm gonna press and hold the power button for the first time. And one thing I noticed right away, actually, is that the bottom is very flat, and as is the top, which is actually pretty unique. Haven't really seen uh, this kind of design with the curve anyways. Haven't seen a flat device since the Razer Phone 2 probably. So I'm wondering if I can actually stand these up. After testing it out, I was actually able to stand it up both on the bottom and top on its own. I do not recommend doing this just in case it does happen to tip over, but it is possible in case you were wondering. Taking a close look at the P30 Pro, really want to show off that color gradient. It really does shift depending on the specific lighting that it does hit. And I think it's just a really gorgeous color to be completely honest. One of my favorites on any phone. Taking a look at the right side of the P30 Pro, you'll notice volume rockers and a power button. That power button has a bit of an orange coloring on the inside, which also has a bit of an indent, so you can kind of feel the difference between the power button and the volume rockers moving along down towards the bottom. There is that flat bottom that I have mentioned with a speaker grill, USB-C, a microphone, and your dual SIM card slot. Absolutely nothing on the left side of the phone, but then on the top of the phone, you have a microphone and an IR blaster, so you can go ahead and control your TV and other devices. Glad Huawei still includes that. And on the back, you have that Leica quad camera system. Now you have a 40 megapixel standard wide angle lens, a 20 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, and an eight megapixel telephoto lens with up to five times optical zoom. Now the fourth lens is actually the small lens right below where that flash and sensors are. And this is actually a TOF camera, time of flight camera. So that is just kind of more of a depth sensing to help map things in portrait mode and other features. And on the front of the P30 Pro, 32 megapixel front facing camera, but also you'll notice there's no speaker grill. That is because they have in display audio going on, which I'm actually pretty excited to test out. So now I'm gonna run through the setup process real quick and only talk about anything that is noteworthy. Now let's go ahead and add a fingerprint for that in display fingerprint scanner. Now it just says place your finger, lift it up and place it. It is giving you actually suggestions on what part of your thumb or finger to actually recognize. So there we go. Now it says enroll the edges. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the edges of my thumb. Of course, you can do multiple fingers as well. And we are just about done. Almost. One more. Nope. 
we're getting there. Honestly, it does not matter to me how long that actually took, as long as it works how it should. We'll test that out in just a second. All right, so we are all done setting up the phone. We are on the home screen. First thing I'd like to do is jump into settings, go into storage, so you can actually see 13.36 gigs out of 256 gigs is used out of the box. I've not installed anything just yet, uh, but that is, of course, with this review unit. Next, I'd like to test out that in-display fingerprint scanner, which we did just set up. You will see with the display, it shows where you need to set that finger, and that was extremely quick. Do it again. It does actually feel faster than the Mate 20 Pro, of course. This is just an initial setup. I will need a little bit more time with it, actually, and I'll talk about it more in my full review, but so far, it looks very promising and accurate. Next, let's go into the camera app. Now, I'm so excited to use this camera, actually. Some of the low-light shots taken with just the standard camera turned out amazing on stage, so I'm really excited to actually test out some of these features. Now, first of all, Let's go ahead and just snap a couple quick pictures. It does have that AI mode on, so we'll try and recognize what it's looking at and optimize those scenes for it. Now you have a bunch of different options, portrait mode, night mode, aperture mode, as well to actually blur the background, and you can control how blurry the background actually is. And you have a pro mode, which I'm excited to start using. Now anyways, going back to photo, you will see here a 1X right here. Now if you just tap on it, it will actually switch between 1X 5x, 10x, and the ultra wide angle lens. Now look at how much of the hotel room is actually showing in that wide angle lens, ultra wide angle lens. Now, of course, the 5x zoom, the five times zoom is optical. So it is not, it is lossless quality. Now 10x is actually a hybrid zoom using digital and optical zoom. Now, of course, after 10x, let's see what else we can do. You can actually continue to zoom in all the way up to 50 times, which of course is going to degrade the quality, but crazy that the lens can actually zoom that far. Now, like I mentioned, let's go ahead and go to my window and see if I can zoom in on the top of that Eiffel Tower. So here's a look at the view outside my hotel window. Now you don't even see the Eiffel Tower because it is actually pretty far away. Now, when I start zooming in five times, you could start seeing the very top of it. Now here is 10 times zoom. Now I really wanna show off how crazy 50 times zoom is. Now of course, the more you zoom in, the more sensitive it is to you turning the phone, which is where a tripod might come in handy. But if we go ahead and start the zooming process, let's get it all the way to 25 times zoom. And you'll see here, I'm a little jittery, but it is actually showing the very top of the Eiffel Tower in full. So that is all of the Eiffel Tower that I can see, but that's not it. Let's go ahead and zoom in even more and get the very top of it all the way to 50 times zoom. I'm gonna try and hold this as still as I can behind the camera, whoops. And there you go. Actually, not that bad a quality, but just in general insane that I can zoom that far when realistically, this is what you can actually see just from the, from the wide angle lens. The P30 Pro does run Android 9 out of the box, which is the latest version of Android. Now you can also add gestures, which I actually prefer doing. So system navigation, you can use gestures. I'm actually not going to do the tutorial because I actually know how to use them. Swipe up from the bottom to go home. Now if you go into something you wanna go back, you swipe from the left or right side of the screen and it will actually go back. Now if you wanna to get to your recent apps, just swipe up and hold and it will jump into those recent apps. Now, what about the assistant? You can just go ahead and swipe up from one of the corners and let go, and it will open up your voice assistant for you. The P30 Pro has a 6.47 inch OLED display at a resolution of 2340 by 1080. Now the sides are actually curved, so this is a curved OLED screen. This phone also has an IP68 rating, which means it is dust and water resistant, so nice if you accidentally drop it in some water, you don't have to worry about it. You can expect great performance on the P30 Pro. It uses the Kirin 980 processor, which was actually used on the Mate 20 Pro, and that processor handles everything I throw at it. Inside the phone, there's a 4200 milliamp hour battery, which actually has the fast battery charging technology, so you can actually charge 40 watts, which means 70% battery in just 30 minutes. You can charge the P30 Pro wirelessly at 15 watts, but you can also charge other devices wirelessly with your P30 Pro with the reverse wireless charging. So overall, that is everything I want to cover on the P30 Pro for now. A lot more videos coming very soon, so be sure you click that subscribe button so you're notified. Shout out to Huawei's design team for this gorgeous coloring as well. Well done. And overall, that's the P30 Pro. Drop a comment, let me know what you think. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.